Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free Sage video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to post journal entries on Sage 50 Cloud and Sage 50 accounts. It's very straightforward, very easy to do. This video will be very brief because it's easy. You just go to the nominal codes module here, so the nominal ledger, and at the top, there should be an icon for journal entry. If this is not showing, just right click at the top here so it could be that journal has been hidden, so it's no longer showing. If you right click, just tick on journal entry, then it will show. If you have bookkeeping or accounting experience, you should know what a journal is and how to complete a journal. We just put in the reference, put in the date of the journal. Generally, they are dated the end of the month or the end of the year. Put in your nominal code. This could be like a sales journal. Put in the details of the journal, the tax code if there is one, and then the debit or credit side. Obviously the journal has the balance, so there has to be an equal value in debits as there are credits. So for whatever reason, let's say we're going to post these two nominal codes, 5,000 each. When we're ready, we can click save, and that will post the journal to Sage. If this is a journal that you're going to use fairly frequently, such as a payroll journal that's going to be posted every month, or perhaps it's like management accounts journals for accruals and prepayments, then what you can do is memorize the journal. So if I memorize this, I can call it, you know, month end journal, you know, accruals and prepayments, purely as an example, and save that then what you can do when you click on journal entry in future is you can recall the journal. So let's find it at the top here, crawls and prepayments, load that and that template will load for you. Obviously I only have two lines here, so it's probably not worth memorizing and then recalling, but if it's a payroll journal it has like 10 lines or perhaps some sort of month end journal that you have that has lots of lines on it, you can memorize that template and just recall the template just to save you time and potentially iron out any errors um, if it's automated for you. You can reverse journals too. There is a tick box down here for reversing journals if you want that journal to be reversed and then journal reversal here. So if you have a journal that needs to be reversed, you can click reverse journals, put in the reverse and date. So it could be that this journal is for the 31st of March and we want it to be reversed the day after, on the 1st of April. If you click that and click Save, then that will be set up to be reversed for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. I have loads of free videos on my website. Go check it out, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Alternatively, just Google the Bookkeeping Master, that's me, or just go through the videos on my YouTube channel. It's all free. I can teach you everything and anything about Sage 50 Cloud, Sage 50 Accounts, Zero, QuickBooks Online, and other accounting software. I also have free bookkeeping courses and other things, and I offer one-to-one -one training. All information is on my website. Thank you for watching.